In the secondary analysis of the Fidelity trial, we found no evidence that arthroscopic partial meniscectomy or APM improved knee catching or locking. Advocates of APM argued that there are subgroups of patients who benefit from APM surgery, those with so-called mechanical symptoms, sensations of knee catching or locking being the most obvious one. This assertion is plausible, since knee catching and locking are currently blamed on a mechanical locking mechanism in the knee, and since meniscus tear is the most commonly found pathology through arthroscopy. It seems intuitive that trimming a torn meniscus should therefore alleviate mechanical symptoms. The Fidelity trial was a randomized participant and outcome assessor blinded placebo surgery controlled multi-center trial carried out in five orthopedic clinics in Finland. 146 participants aged 35 to 65 with knee symptoms consistent with degenerative meniscus tear and no knee osteoarthritis were randomly assigned to APM or placebo surgery. 70 participants were assigned to APM and 76 to placebo surgery. The primary outcome was the participant's self-report of mechanical symptoms assessed pre-operatively and two, six and twelve months post-operatively. 32 participants in the APM arm and 37 in the placebo surgery arm reported catching or locking pre-operatively. The corresponding numbers were 17 and 24 at the two-month follow-up 16 and 14 at the six-month follow-up, 19 and 15 at the 12 months after surgery. No statistically significant difference was found between the two treatment arms. This was a secondary analysis of the Fidelity trial, which was not originally designed to answer this question specifically. Many established clinical practices are based on intuitively strong biological rational. Some of these practices, when tested with solid scientific methods, crumble into dust. Despite widespread use, knee arthroscopy doesn't help patients with knee catching and locking.